Hey, Calista. So I think in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I had an absolute ton of guild and admin scrolls and a bunch of you guys mentioned that I should be using an emulator and trying to build a macro so that I would be able to get through all those scrolls. Um, as you guys know, right now we currently have a kind of guild um, event going on where you're able to get more guild coins for each of your scrolls. So I figured what better time to figure out how the heck to get this done, but now. Um, so what I did was ask my guild for recommendations in terms of the emulator to use that would be the easiest because they didn't have a whole lot of time to do this. Um, and they recommended Nox. So you can kind of see, let me kick this off. You can kind of see, um, I downloaded Nox, downloaded Lords Mobile. Um, I made sure to link uh, my Lord's mobile account to Facebook. So I think most of you guys know I play on iOS. So a lot of these like Android emulators and stuff don't automatically work for me. Um, so I had to make sure that I linked it to Facebook and I had apparently linked it to the wrong account a really long time ago. So I had to create a new Facebook account to link my main Lord's mobile account to log into Facebook through um, the emulator and then log into Lord's Mobile that way. And obviously you can see here that it's linked. Now, I hadn't done this before, so I wasn't quite sure how to do it. Um, but I was just showing you guys, you know, the thousands of guild quests and admin quests that I have. So I have an absolute ton of scrolls. Um, off to the right of Nox, um, you're able to see how many options there are, right? So you can see right there, I'm kind of clicking over the one that says record a macro and you can see what it looks like. Super simple. This was the very first time. So I'm recording you guys. Um, I'm, sh I'm recording doing this for the very first time. So I hadn't done this before. So I just wanted to show you guys like the, the simplicity of it. So I went ahead and clicked record and basically performed the actions that I would want the macro to do. So the actions involved opening the quest and um, resetting to a new scroll, right? So I did that a couple of times um, and then paused it. And as I mentioned before, this was the first time that I was doing it. So I was kind of doing a little bit of trial and error because I wasn't quite sure how it worked. Went ahead and played the macro to see if it worked and it did, which was really cool. So I'm like, okay, this is pretty awesome. It's doing it by itself. So you can see just by doing those kind of two quick actions, it recorded what I wanted it to do. Um, but again, I mentioned this already a couple of times. This was the first time that I was doing it. I wanted you guys to see, especially for those of you guys that are in the same boat that I am, where maybe you don't normally use emulators, just so you can see how easy it is and what the process, and I, what had happened here, by the way, was it stopped. And I was like, okay, so let me go into options. So I went to the options of the macro and tried to figure out how to make sure that it would keep doing it, right? So that it wouldn't just perform the macro once, but it would actually loop through and do it forever until I told it to stop, which basically meant until there weren't any more um, guild quest rewards. Now, I would keep an eye on this because I wouldn't want it to suddenly start like buying gems. I don't think it could, but just in case, um, I would want to keep a close eye as it would get kind of closer to the end. But I was playing with some of the options. So you have the opportunity here to loop it indefinitely until you tell it to stop or to tell it how many loops you want it to do. That might be easier. So you would basically look at how many scrolls you have left and tell it to perform that many loops. That's actually what I'm going to end up doing. And then the other thing that I was playing with here was the acceleration. I, I tend to do this all the time. So I went for like the max acceleration to see how quickly it was. And I think what it was doing is because um, the clicks don't have time to record, it was just kind of like resetting and I was like losing quests. So you don't want to do that. Like I just kept it at one acceleration um, just to make sure that I wasn't wasting any of the actual quests. And then I would recommend putting in the number of loops to correspond to the number of scrolls that you have and then just minimizing it and let your computer do the work. So I'm super excited, guys. This was really good timing given that we have all this going on with um, getting additional guild coins and guild coins are awesome because you can get relocators you can get um, Talent respects, you know, whatever it is that you need you can kind of get it using the guild coins and we're getting additional guild coins So this is a really good time to make sure that you're using all your guild scrolls I'm gonna do it for guild and for admin. Maybe I'll get lucky with some of the drops who knows um, But wanted to share this with you guys I was actually pretty psyched that it was so easy to do and wanted to make sure that um, I thanked all my subs especially in the comment section you guys you brought this up to me, that was awesome, and wanted to show you guys that I went ahead and took your advice and it was super helpful. As usual, thank you so much for watching.